A new traveling exhibit from the Smithsonian Institution comes to the Youngstown Historical Center of Industry and Labor. And our mission is to look at labor and industry in the Mahoning Valley. And so looking at the way people worked historically and currently fits our mission very well. We take a look at the new traveling exhibit in flashback. Flashback is sponsored by Hickey Metal Fabrication. This photo from the National Archives, taken in 1930, shows a man working on the Empire State Building high above the New York City skyline. In this picture, we can see two young women in the ice delivery business in 1918. And here, a photo of Hawaiian pineapple cannery workers circa 1928. These photographs are part of a new exhibit on display at the Youngstown Historical Center of Industry and Labor, called The Way We Worked. We have a long and storied history. We have a great deal of pride in our jobs. It helps highlight the role that immigrants played in building our country, as well as the progression of safety and safety equipment on the job site, and the different types of jobs. Jobs that had once solely been held by men are now held by men and women. The Way We Worked comes from the Smithsonian Institution's Museum on Main Street Traveling Exhibition Program. Marcel Wilson, site manager for the Youngstown Historical Center, says the exhibit sheds light on history that is shared by everyone. It's cultural history, it's social history, it includes immigrants, women, children, and it's multicultural and something that everyone can relate to. The Way We Worked features an array of photos from the National Archives as well as video displays. It has um, flip books in it and and it has some interactive components to it so that people can not only read and look at the pictures, but also interact with the exhibit. One display showcases the topic, why we work, with information on why people took various jobs throughout history. Many women join the workforce and they join the war material production. Um, sector so that they can support wars during World War I and World War II when men are away fighting. Construction is very significant to why people are working and we have a section here that talks about steel mills and the significance of steel in the building trades. Another looks at roles immigrants played in the workforce. Wilson says this panel stands out to her because of the current issues on immigration policies. Historically, we've always dealt with immigrants in different ways, depending on what part of um, the world they are coming from and what they can contribute to the United States. Some of the surprising things are the images of child laborers, especially when they are barefoot and barely clothed and filthy dirty. One of the biggest factors in the way Americans worked over the years has been the progression of technology seen in this section featuring how far we've come. On display, you can see a candlestick telephone, a typewriter, and a Blackberry. It shows how technology really enhances work, but also possibly makes it more complicated or more challenging as technology advances, the workers have to bring more knowledge and skill to the table in order to get the job done. The museum has also planned several programs to complement the exhibit, including lectures, workshops, and hands-on history family activities. The first event will be a presentation Friday by Andrew Richmond on Ohio's furniture industry. The exhibit will be on display through January 18th. Knowing that history really enables us to appreciate the past and also look toward the future. You can read more about the exhibit in Josh Medor's story at businessjournaldaily.com. Hickey Metal Fabrication, family owned and proudly based in Salem for 75 years. We have state-of-the-art equipment and are ready to handle your start-to-finish fabrication needs.